Okay, so let's try 6.3 number 35, where Bailey disagrees with what? The book you disagree with? The back of the book. The formula that they have for it. Okay. So I'm supposed to take this function, which they're calling what? F? So they give me a picture. F of x is this thing. And I'm supposed to flip this thing over the y-axis and then shift right one unit. Okay, so I'm going to do flip over the y in pink. So you flip this over the y-axis. Yes. So that's on the y-axis. That stays where it is. Yes. This guy at one comma two is going to be now at negative one comma two. Negative one comma two. Cool. Like this. Pink thing. Negative one. Negative two. Three. Okay. Then I'm supposed to shift where? Right. Now I'm supposed to move everything right one unit. So I just. So where the negative one two is is going to be zero. Yeah. Just do that. Right. Take this dot. Scoot it over. Take this dot. Scoot it over. Take this dot. Scoot it over. Take that dot. Scoot it over. Connect the dots. Okay. So. Blue is my all told answer, right? Okay. And then I'm supposed to write down a formula. So my guess is that formula is going to involve the letter F. Whoa, that's like. Right? Because it's kind of still a picture of F, right? It's moved around, but it's still a picture, give or take, of F. I guess. And then I have to make sure that I get the two bits in the right order. So what are the two bits that are going to go in here? Yeah, there's going to be a shift right by one, mm -hmm. which is a negative one. Yeah, that's the x. There's an adding minus one part, right? Mm -hmm. And what else? And a, and a negative one. And a flip over the y-axis, right? Which is multiply the X by, negative X by negative 1. Okay, so I have a multiply by negative 1 and an add negative 1 that have to happen in an order, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I bubble diagram this, I have F going on, right? And then the stuff that's happening is happening, is that before or after F? Is it X stuff or Y stuff? Am I changing horizontal things or vertical things? Horizontal. Yeah, everything's horizontal, right? So I'm looking at this side of F, and there's two steps in there. One of those is going to be a multiply by negative one, the other one's going to be add negative one. Which one comes first? Multiply by. Because you're going to do the flip over the y first. Yeah, the flip over the y happened first, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the one I need to do first. Does that mean it goes in which slot? The, the one on the right. Which in X land you do it backwards. Yeah, in X land this stuff has to happen backwards, right? So this guy needs to be your multiply by negative 1. That's your flip. And then this guy should be adding negative 1. Add negative 1. Right, subtract one there. And so if you start with an X here, what are you going to get here? Shift to the right. Okay, you're going to shift what looks like a shift right. That's that X minus 1. Uh -huh. And then you're going to multiply that by negative 1. And then you multiply that by negative 1, so you get negative X plus 1. And then you multiply all of that. Well, not multiply. And then you take that and put it into F, right? Mm -hmm. So you should be doing F of minus X plus 1 which maybe would look more like what I'm thinking about if I did it this way. Cool. Yeah, I'm backwards, Bailey. Well, I had that for number 34. Or did I had number 34 like that, and so I had this one as negative x minus 1. And number 34 has them shifted the other way. Yeah. So shift first, then flip. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to remember that the x stuff happens backwards. 
Pretty cool about. We can of course check this, right? Like on the f thing, right? On f itself, I know that f of zero is zero, right? So if I look at my blue picture, f of one under that function should be, or maybe I should call this g. If I plug one into this function, I should get zero back out, right? That's what my kind of blue line would indicate, my final product for the answer here. Yep. So I can check that. If I plug one in there, I get f of minus one plus one is f of zero, and f of zero is zero. So at least I kind of check. <coughs> Both that? Uh, I don't really get the bubble diagram. Like you said that x something, some x rule you put in, they said like it's like reverse. Yeah, so said, when you're doing shifting, yeah. right? So this is the rule I know the picture of. F is the rule I know the picture of, right? And I have here two shifting rules. I have a plus negative one, which I think of as a right shift by one. So that's my right one part. And then this is flip in the horizontal direction, right? So flip over the y-axis. So those are the two things I have. And I need to understand which order they happen in. And when you're bubble diagramming, the x stuff happens backwards of what you think it would be. Because the x stuff is all backwards of what you think it should be. That's not really a quick buzz, but that's maybe a mnemonic at least. But this stuff all is backwards because it's changing the inputs. OK, so on a test, are you going like, to ask for like a bubble? Or... Yeah. OK. Yeah, the, the, I... the skill that I want, the skill that I really want is for you guys to be able to take a function, bubble diagram it out, and then apply the shifting rules in the right order. And part of that is you do the x things first, and they happen backwards, and then you apply the y. Okay. Yeah, because in my head, I was like, OK, well, uh, the flip is like before the rules. So yeah, you so think about the flip here, and then the shift, and then the rule. Yeah, so that'll just graph things the wrong way, because there's no justice in the world at all. So you have to do the x stuff backwards, and then the y stuff goes the way you think it does. The good news is that all the x stuff goes backwards. It's not just some of it, right? <laughs> it's like the compressions and the stretches are backwards of what you think they are. The left and the right are backwards of what you think they are. And the order is backwards of what you think it is. So, so eventually it won't be what you think it is. No, no, no. <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> Don't ever get it right in your head, because then it won't be backwards. You guys see that? Like, I'm really scared of that myself, because I'm getting close to understanding what's going on, and I don't want to lose that, like, it's all backwards all the time. If it's what you think it is, you're wrong. 